Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my rarest drop series where I take your submissions and scour the internet for the rarest possible drops in old school RuneScape. Thank you once again to everyone who submitted over the last month. I got a lot of fun submissions and we're going to get a little creative today. We are on episode number 10 or 11 now, I can't even remember, so we're trying to get a little bit of variety, a little bit of everything. And as always, if you do want to submit an image for one of these videos, the best place to do that is in my Discord. There will be a link in the description and just leave it in the video submission channel. Anyway guys, let's get started. Now starting us off at number 10 is kind of a fun one, something that I've actually never seen before. Now this player managed to somehow get only baguettes from a sandwich lady random event. Now no, this is probably not the rarest event to ever happen in RuneScape history, but it's kind of fun. And if we're being honest here, baguettes are probably one of the best options on there already. Who needs the triangle sandwich really? Now if you did happen to have a back-to-back -back Bloodhound pet or a back-to-back -back Twisted Bow, I'm sorry, but this week we're doing sandwiches. Now coming in at number 9 is a team of players who have had some incredibly good luck at the Chambers of Zarek. A player by the name of Neportis and Neportis47, which I don't know if that's an alt account or two friends who just happen to have a similar name, but they managed to hit the back-to-back to back to back to back item at the Chambers of Zarek and at a fairly low kill count as well. On kill count number 80, they managed to get a Dex Prayer Scroll, nothing too crazy. Now then on 81, Neportis manages to get the back to back Dex Scroll. Now of course, they gotta go for another one after that. Now on kill number 82, Neportis 47 manages to pull the Twisted Bow on a back to back to back. It does not stop there though. On number 83, Neportis manages to get an Ancestral Robe Top. And on 47, they also managed to pull a Dex Prayer Scroll. You understand this is two different people, but still hitting five items in a row, even amongst two players, is incredibly rare. Not to mention they also pulled a Twisted Bow as part of that. So yeah, I think that's pretty damn lucky. Now what's with everyone having incredible luck getting the Runecrafting pet? I mean, this player is no exception. Right now they're not even 99 runecrafting, they're 97, so they still have a couple million experience to go. But from level 1 to around a quarter of the way through 97, they managed to get 6 runecrafting pets. That is incredibly lucky. I mean, honestly, I think most players are happy to even get 1 by the time they get the runecrafting cape. But I mean, 6 is just kind of a, you know, you gotta share a little bit, man. Now sometimes I do kind of wish you could just stack up extra pets and just have them in your menagerie. Just, just having like a dozen beaver pets or something would be pretty damn cool. Now next up here, we have a clue scroll submission by a user by the name of Kurantula. Now this player managed to get a third age longsword on their 12th ever master clue. Now that is incredibly lucky in its own right. Now this was from a little while ago, back then it looks like the Third Age Longsword was worth close to a bill still. Uh, today sadly it's only worth around half of that. Now a Third Age Longsword on your 12th Master, that's pretty damn lucky, but I think some people might be surprised to know that that's not the only mega rare item that they hit on this clue. Now on pretty much all of the mega rare drop tables for clue scrolls, there are usually a couple of troll items. Now on the Master Clue Scroll, it's actually mega rare to hit a Cabbage, an anti-venom, but also 50 torsal. Hitting 50 torsals is actually mega rare and a 1 in 13,000 chance of happening in combination with hitting the third age longsword makes this even more rare. And on top of that, they even hit a third unique with the fancy tiara. As so overall, a pretty stacked clue. Now coming up next here, we have an incredibly lucky player who managed to get three bloodhound pets in only 44 master clue scrolls. That is so damn lucky. I mean, it's so lucky in fact that I would have definitely stolen this guy's account if he didn't have, well, the herbs blurred out and of course the blood runes and death runes. But seriously, that is some incredible luck. The Bloodhound drops at a rate of one out of a thousand and master clues are slow to complete and even slower to obtain. Uh, so a giant congratulations to this player. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with more Bloodhound pets at a lower clue completion. Now, next up here, we have a submission by Nuoitra. Now, this player had an incredibly lucky series of events happen to them, and you can see in their chat box something kind of incredible happened. Now, Nuoitra was just casually chopping some trees. I think they said that they were chopping redwood trees, and all of a sudden, they managed to get the beaver pet. Incredibly lucky, but I mean, they are max, so I mean, they probably do deserve it more or less. Uh, so they got the beaver pet, so of course there's, well, no real reason to continue wood cuttings. Uh, so instead they switch over to fishing some anglerfish, and within a single inventory they all of a sudden get the heron pet. So kind of a back-to-back -back pet, I mean not exactly, 
but a pretty fun interaction and I mean I would be really stoked to get two skilling pets within a couple of minutes. Now next up here we have a submission by Howliet, who once again was doing some master clue scrolls. Now you guys have gotten some seriously good clue luck this month because look at this. Now on their 11th master clue scroll they managed not only to get a third age kite shield, but they also got the bloodhound pet on the exact same clue, which honestly makes us one of the luckiest clues I have ever seen. The, the only clue in recent memory that I think is better is the Giacchiosaurus one, which was essentially the Bloodhound pet and a third age Druidic piece, but still this is incredibly rare. It's already a 1 in 13,000 chance of hitting any third age piece, which is already incredibly rare, and a 1 in the 1,000 to get the Bloodhound pet, which means the odds of this happening are in the millions, but again, we gotta keep in mind, completing Masters takes a while, uh, so it's not like you're gonna complete a thousand Master Clue scrolls very quickly. So again, a huge congrats on one of the luckiest clues I've ever seen. Now, next up here we have another pretty crazy submission, and this time at Herbivore. Now, I don't get a lot of submissions here, but a player managed to get probably one of the luckiest interactions there that I've ever seen. Now, they managed to hit the back-to-back -back Herbivore pet on kill count number 1893 and 1894. Now, because you can go through Herbivore pretty quickly, the drop rate is actually fairly uncommon at around 1 in 6,500, which means the rough odds of getting a back-to-back -back Herbivore pet are around 1 in 40 million. Now, obviously, a 1 in 40 million chance of happening is a lot more common at Herbivore versus something like a Master Clue Scroll, but still, I think any back-to-back -back pet is definitely significant. So a huge congratulations for one of the rarest interactions in the game. Now, next up here we have a submission that is actually from a while ago, but probably one of the luckiest players in the entire game is someone called Sigur Ross. Now let's start off by looking at the rarest thing here, and that is that they got the drop on kill count number 73. Obviously that is why I'm mainly rating it so highly, but I mean on top of that, they also managed to get the Elijah Spirit Shield and the pet in the same kill and on kill number 73. Just such an insane picture and an insane drop. I mean, the odds of getting the pet are 1 in 5,000, and the drop rate for the Elijah is around 1 in 4,100. Now, obviously, this is quite a while ago now, but the Elijah is still one of the most expensive items in the entire game, and getting it with the pet in the same drop, mind-boggling. The odds of getting the Elijah exactly and the pet in the same drop are around 1 in 20.5 million. And at a boss like the Corporal Beast, which is pretty damn slow to kill, I think this definitely deserves the number two spot. All right, now coming in at the number one spot is another Zalra killer. I feel like Zalra has taken the number one spot a couple times, but I guess just so many people kill that boss that mega rare things are just eventually bound to happen. Now I've actually never seen this drop before, but on kill count number 2422, uh, somebody managed to get both of the mutagens in the exact same drop. Now the mutagens are kind of unique because technically their drop rate for each one is 1 out of 13,000, but at Zalra you do get two rolls at it, uh, which means it is theoretically possible to get them in the exact same drop. As essentially, first you need to hit a 1 in 6,500 to get any of the mutagens, and then after you'd have to hit a 1 in 13,000 to get the specific mutagen, in the exact same drop, which means that is getting pretty damn close to a 1 in 100 million chance of happening. Sure, the mutagens aren't actually worth anything, but it's a really badass drop that I have never seen before, and that is why I think it deserves the number one spot. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Now going into the future, I am of course looking for more rare drops, so definitely hit me up in the Discord, but one thing specifically I'm looking for are players that have really big pet collections. What I mean by that is players who have managed to get a ton of a single pet or just a ton of pets in general. For example, I saw a picture the other day of someone who had 10 Cerberus pets. I would like to do a dedicated video to that, so if you're somebody who has done a lot of pet hunting or just a ton of kill count at the boss and you have a ton of pets to show off, definitely hit me up on Discord in the video submissions channel, or you can even send me an email, hit me up on Twitter, I'll check all those places, but I am looking for those pictures. Now before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. A huge thank you to Ocelot, Kush Patel, Brad Sings, Brian Robinson, Zach Staba, and Cappy who all subscribed at the Dragon Tier. You guys are awesome. Thank you again. Joining Base Titch, Birdbot, Grumpy Chef, Timothy Chen at the Runite Tier, and of course all of you guys. I really appreciate you. If any of you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do it. You'll get access to my video release schedule, get a custom role in my Discord, as well as be immortalized in all of my future videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.